Man, what is going on with Halo Infinite? We just made a video a couple weeks ago about how Halo Infinite had its best week ever, you know, since launch and stuff. And they just had a huge tournament with HCS that went on in Space Station 1. And honestly, that's probably the coolest, most like aesthetically pleasing uh, tournament that I've seen in a long time. And it gave me huge MLG vibes from like the golden era. So that was amazing to see Space Station and stuff. I liked seeing new teams get back to the top, you know, kind of dethrone optic and phase and stuff so it's been pretty cool that being said we also had a mid-season update for season four which in my opinion was already a great season to to start with so getting another update for it has been even better and they've added improvements additions bug fixes all types of stuff and maybe some things that aren't intended that we're going to talk about in a little bit that being said, if you love Halo and you want to stay up to date with cool stuff and things and hang out with me, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're grinding away to 15k and you guys have been killing it. We're getting so close and I would love to hit that for this year. So let's start off with probably the biggest addition, which is a new map, Dredge, which is basically inspired from the Halo Reach map, Countdown. And they've added a 24-7 playlist so that you can play it no matter what, like, and I love that And when games do that, when they have new maps or modes or whatever, they just have a 24-7 playlist, kind of like Nuketown back in the day. So you don't have to get into a playlist and be like, oh my god, why am I playing the same old maps? But I actually really like what they've done. I think I've seen a few people say that it's too small and like, what is going on? But honestly, I, I really, really like it. Let me know in the comments down below if you've played on it and if you enjoy it as well. Something else that they've done is they've implemented a lot of community requests, probably the really high level stuff that people have been asking for for a while now so in big team battle the pelican vehicle drops can kind of be unpredictable meaning that not every you know pelican drop was going to bring the same thing like sometimes one team gets a tank and the other team gets a ghost and you're just like why so a lot of people have wanted symmetrical vehicle drops so what they've done is they're going to make the Pelican drop the same vehicles on both sides of the map in the same wave. So I think that's a good a good change. Sometimes it just really gets out of control when, you know, there's like two tanks or whatever. They get back-to-back -back race or whatever, and you're just like on the other team just getting absolutely farmed. Something that I thought was changing but I just read it wrong was the fire team priority in BTB, and I thought this meant that it was going to match you against other fire teams. It is not. It is just going to make sure that your, you know, your fire team of four is prioritized in big team battle. So the intro camera will show it. And that's not what I thought it was. The extermination medal has come back. And I love that. I miss hearing him be like, extermination. So that's very cool. They've added death cam improvements as well. Basically meaning that once you die, you'll be able to rotate your camera around to look like uh when you're spectating teammates so it's like in previous games they've also added reactive water plane to forge which means the water will react to players vehicles and projectiles there were a bunch of forge quality of life updates and bug fixes as well and it also seems like movement was changed again but the thing is is that movement is constantly changing in halo infinite so we never really know what's intended or not but it it seems pretty i don't know i've played a couple games and i really enjoy how it feels right now so i hope that they don't change it there's been a ton of videos out there i'm gonna play one from uh, i believe milkway that's a good follow on twitter if you want to see crazy halo movement but yeah again it's it's I feel like we've gotten a ton of like new maps and stuff and there has been some rumblings about firefight not coming in season five now and it being more towards season six because there are a bunch of game modes and stuff that are already closer to the finish line that they may just use for season five and keep brushing up on season six so we'll see what happens in regard to that maybe it's like a mid-season update too that would be pretty cool but again i feel like a lot of people you know nothing's ever good enough we've had so many new maps and like this update and there are people still out there trying to dunk on halo and stuff and then i have a, a bunch of people being super supportive to 343 saying you know like halo infinite at this rate is going to be the best fps on the market not that there's a ton of competition but yeah i've been enjoying my time on the game and i hope you all have as well let me know in the comments down below if you are you guys know that i look at all the comments we talk about this so if you've made it this far in the video i'm gonna i'm gonna give you guys a curveball has nothing to do with halo or the video comment snorlax down below yes the pokemon the big fat cat snorlax is an og man i love him 
But that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed and you want to help me out, leave a like on the video. It greatly helps out my channel with the algorithm and all that cool stuff. Helps get my videos in front of new people. And I like greatly appreciate it. That's like the number one thing that you can do. And if you're one of those new people, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will catch you around the ring.